for this assignment, I chose Laertes and Ophelia. As we know, the sibling duo, they share a lot of similarity and differences throughout the play, and they grow further on in the play, whether that be for the good or the bad. I saw throughout this assignment that it's a lot like the difference and similarities of Venom and Poison. Ophelia is more like Venom because she is natural and she knows who she is and she can't really change that and her actions are natural to who she is and that she doesn't really have a choice. For example, when she finds out the sudden death of her father, for Laertes, he was shocked and so was Ophelia. They both acted extremely the same with this situation. For them both to lose someone so close to them, their mourning is what got to the best of them. They both would almost not believe that their father had died. They both were at denial that he's not dead. For Laertes, he simply said that, that he's not dead, or how did he die, or so on and so forth. He was so confused on how and wanted answers, and for Ophelia, it was somewhat similar. But another big difference was the fact how they decided to take that into their own hands. For Ophelia, that was, it was too much for her, and that venom that's inside of her got the best of her, driving her to madness. The loss of her father and the loss of her love. And it ate at her, and that's simply why she went mad. And for Laertes, the poison he chose was to seek vengeance on the person who killed his father. And throughout the play, we see that most of the women don't act irrational in a point. They're more drawn in, and they seek their mourning through depression and sadness and it drives them insane where with the men it causes them to get angry and want to seek vengeance on who killed their father or killed their best friend or killed anyone they seek their problems with anger and fighting to solve their problems which was extremely true to any situation whether that be in any book or simply in life but because of the way Laertes chose how to come across and chose how to settle this problem he chose poison he chose to kill someone in revenge of his father's death. A lot like what Hamlet was supposed to do. <coughs> and in the whole brother-sister duo thing where we see in reality or even in books the fact that brothers are overprotective and that they want what's best for their siblings and they almost seem too controlling over it. And we see this with the whole conversation that happens between Ophelia and Laertes at the beginning of the book where Laertes warns Ophelia about Hamlet and that he cannot be trusted and that his fate and his future lies beneath simple actions that he has no control over and Leite is just afraid Ophelia is going to get hurt and that he cares so much for the goodness of her heart that the last thing he wants is her to get heartbroken 
which shows us that Laertes cares and has a big heart towards people that may be related or he may show interest towards. And Ophelia, hearing this, she sees that his bro her brother means well. And so she says she'd take the advice as long as her brother isn't a hypocrite about it. And that he will also take his own advice because she sees that he cares. And she wants to let him know that she cares as well for the well-being of his heart. And that she also doesn't want anything to happen with him that may cause heartbreak or mourn or sorrow. But as we see later on, that soul Laertes has for everyone seems to kind of dim down. He still has the same love for his sister, and Ophelia still has the same love for her brother, but she ends up falling in love with Hamlet anyways. And this kind of shows the readers and people watching the play that you can't choose who you fall in love with. You can't choose what your fate is. It will happen if it's supposed to happen. And this comes with another big difference was just the fact that Ophelia was so fond and loving of Hamlet where Laertes was not. Which I can't say I don't blame, blame Laertes on just the sheer fact that Laertes sees Hamlet and sees how he's mad and how he's hurt Ophelia, which is a big betrayal for him to see someone else hurt someone that's so close to you, you automatically don't like that person. And then once he finds out that Hamlet had killed his father, there was no building that relationship back up or trying to hear them out over it. It was his sure killer instinct to seek revenge for his father's death. And it just wasn't what I had expected the term of events to come out to be. And um, it's just seeing both of the characters having so many similarities, yet they're still their own person. They have the same reactions to things, but how they decide to go upon that or how they just seem to put actions into their own hands, it's so much different. And that's either because just the fact that they're totally different genders with different hearts not saying that the men are heartless but they tend to take emotions a different aspect for Ophelia she got really sad and depressed and let everything hit her heart where with the men in the play like Laertes they take that problem, they get angry, and they let that anger build up inside of them to the point where they feel like they don't have a choice but to fight that other person that caused that problem. But, yeah, that's... That's about it. <laughs>